They look like potholers on their way to an indoor ski slope. But it's too warm in this huge hall for that. And what's trickling isn't snow either, it's fertilizer. And that needs hydrogen, lots of hydrogen. The hydrogen is critical for ammonia production, and that in turn is the critical ingredient to make fertilizers that we sell. Up until now, hydrogen has been produced with natural gas at this plant in Portugiano. It's severely climate damaging. For every ton of ammonia we produce with natural gas, we emit two tons of CO2. Fertiberia is one of Europe's largest fertilizer manufacturers. It aims to be climate neutral by 2035. And to do this, it needs, above all, cleanly produced hydrogen. The energy company Ibadrola is to supply it. Even though this hydrogen plant is Europe's largest, it is still only a drop in the bucket. Ibadrola is supplying just 3,000 metric tons of hydrogen, while 160,000 metric tons of it is needed by fertilizer manufacturers. But it was a matter of learning how to integrate green hydrogen into the production process. Now that we have the experience of this plant as engineers, we're ready to build another plant, an even bigger one, in terms of operation and maintenance, but it depends on the client's request. Spain is the ideal country for green hydrogen. Lots of space, lots of sun. Booming solar production can supply lots of cheap electricity. Without it, green hydrogen is still too expensive. But more and more hydrogen means more and more water is needed. The production of one kilogram of green hydrogen uses nine liters of water in a part of Spain that is plagued by drought. But they don't worry about that too much in Puerto Llano. Replacing grey hydrogen with green hydrogen means actually saving water, because the production of grey hydrogen takes about twice the amount of water as green hydrogen does. At some point, Spain aims to produce enough green hydrogen and ammonia and even export it. Because in Spain, Fetiberia, along with refineries and steel mills, need hundreds of thousands of tons of green hydrogen per year.